Today, Tennessee tries to even the series with Indianapolis. Defensively, Mike, we got to match the tempo of this offense. We need to get turnovers also. Borders with a great catch! Derrick Henry. That's three for Derrick Henry. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Juan Brown, 70 yards. Sack! Big Jeff! <laughs> Jeffrey Simmons! Onside coming. The Titans catch it. <laughs> Touchdown, Titans! <laughs> there in the Blitz Lounge. What's going on, guys? Bring it on in. Welcome, everybody, to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Your Health Plans. I am Lance Smith. This is the legend, Eddie George. <laughs> Titans Blitz is happy. We're all happy yes. because coming off that win, payback game and then some. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? It was a great game, man. Awesome to watch. I mean, listen, when you want to get a team back uh -huh. in that fashion, on uh -huh. the road, in their place, yeah. that's how you want to do it. Get it done God. early. Wow. All right, we got a lot to talk about. But first of all, good Thanksgiving. Uh, man, excellent. You know? Fried turkey was good. <laughs> Had a small little gathering at the house, no more yeah. than eight people. So, right. we're good. You were. Yeah, so you it was were. all Follow protocol. Within the rules. Within the rules. Masked up. <laughs> <laughs> but then we got to feast on this thing and yes. made the Colts look like a bunch of turkeys. Yes. Uh, so uh, let's let's do this thing. Let's kick off our show and do uh, Four Downs with Eddie, presented by Course and Fire and Security. And uh, look, the man stole the show. Uh, first down here, Eddie. Henry. Mm. I mean, mm. you know, it was some nice back and forth to start the game. It looked like it was going to be that all, all game long, but his 27 carries. This technically is a carry. That was a lateral. Uh, they, would, they would rule it. Um, 178 yards, three TDs. Man, just took over early and often. And the, the last run of last week's game, when he cut back and won, they, they won in overtime. Okay, um, okay, yeah. That, I think that was definitely a carry over into this one okay. earlier on. Yeah. So there was momentum that he was feeling, and this guy is just full of big moments. Yes. I mean, he's just a, a, a highlight film to watch. Look at this. So powerful in the open field. Introduced the new jump cut coming back, uh -huh. able to reverse and field. This become, has become the ultimate weapon in terms of running back power, speed, yeah. vision, tenacity, yes. leadership, yes. everything. All and that. He took, it, he took that into the first half of that game, and it was over after the first two possessions. Yeah, he you, said, you, you, I will not be stopped today. You talk about that so much. You talk about how he warms up throughout the game, and he, mm -hmm. he's doing that throughout the season, and now here we are in December, and it's, it's pain time for the rest of the team. Oh, like, question. This is what I wanted to, to look at, though. This little sequence of events right here. First of all, um, this play happens. Uh, Derek gets this little pitch out and lays Taylor Stallworth into the dirt right there. That stiff arm, uh, your face into the ground, Ooh, sir. Now, that's how you Stallworth do it. is in for Butner, who is, you know, incredible. All right, so fine. Lays him out. A few plays later on another series, we would score on this. He, get, he doesn't get much momentum here, and Stallworth finishes this tackle here. But as he gets up, he kicks Henry in the head, talks trash, and just watch Henry looking at him, staring him down, staring him down, staring him down. And from there, Eddie, pain, rest of the game. Yeah, he yeah. targeted them. It, you, have you had games like that where somebody just said, said the wrong thing too absolutely, early? And absolutely. Absolutely. Like you. Them. you Dialing that number. Okay, 78, Starworth. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. Got you. I got you. I got you. And that We're was not going to talk. I let, I let my pads do the talk. Yeah, so yeah. fun to watch. All right, moving on to, uh, to second down. Uh, you know, you talk about Henry's big day. You mm -hmm. got to hats off to the O-line. Yep. This was some of the most impressive uh, interior run blocking I had seen all year. I think it was the best performance of the offensive line all year. W w without a doubt. I think it started yeah. back uh, about a week ago. Again, you know, guys are coming off, dominating. Uh, just looking, look at this block. David Quesenberry, Quesenberry right there getting his first start and plays lights out. Man, uh, overcame uh, non cancer, cancer yes. not Hopkins, uh, not lymphoma. Hopkins lymphoma. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just to, that's in itself is, is, a, is an awesome miracle. But to come out and play and do an outstanding job of pass protection, run blocking, really creating a new line of scrimmage. And yes. that's when Derek is having a big game like that. The offensive line is doing a fantastic job coming off. It's playing nasty. Yeah. And Nate Davis as well has just been playing out of this world. So yep. considering the fact that they lost their number one tackle 
Taylor Lewan and his backup and his backup yes. and they're still playing at a high level yeah man that is really impressive that they've been able to dominate yes. not just get by right with a patchwork offensive line but have a, one of the best offensive line in the in the league is it's really unheard of and, and phenomenal and doing it now uh, late in the season uh, going into December just yeah. speaks volumes to the coaching and getting it uh, getting it done, but yes. this O line coming together, and you know, last year I think it was against the Colts. Quesenberry caught a touchdown pass yes. early yes. in season, uh, one of the first few games of the season, and uh, we made a big deal of it. But this this was his game. Yes, yes, it, it was. was. It was amazing to see. All right, moving on to uh, to third down. Uh, you know, of course, you know, we, we got to talk about AJ. Got to talk about the receiving threats we still have. <laughs> AJ Brown, uh, monster game again, almost a hundred yards, uh, as well as Corey Davis. Uh, with three clutch grabs for 70 yards, so the receiving threat is still there. Again, balanced offense, Eddie. Balanced offense. When you have two big-time playmakers mm -hmm. and A.J. Brown, Derrick Henry, and a possession threat like uh, um, uh, Davis, mm -hmm. I, I think that's when you have balance. Now it's like pick your poison. Yeah. You can either bring eight or nine in the box and have a threat of A.J. taking it to the house yeah. on a slant or a go route. Or on just moving the chains, Davis has been phenomenal. He's having, in my opinion, an all-pro type season because he's been clutch yeah. every single – not huge numbers, not big plays, but just the little things. The right Big plays. first down, yeah. a fourth down catch, clutch plays, dialed in, focused. He's been phenomenal. This, this offense has been impressing me on all fronts. Receivers, offensive line, run yeah. game, quarterback – when they're, when they're hitting on all cylinders, there's yeah. not a defense that can stop them. And, and next man up kind of thing, too. Everybody's contributing. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on, finally, fourth down here. Uh, the defensive toughness. toughness. The, uh, the, this game, to me, offensively, we did what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. This defense really stepped up, though. Finally, uh, you know, getting, getting to the quarterback there, creating punts, uh, the pressure. But it's also, you know, guys like Will Compton getting in there. Breon Borders getting in there. Uh, David Long, a lot of people don't know this, you know, we, we talked about Corey tragically losing his brother. David Long also yeah. lost his brother recently, and, and he had a monster game. So these guys are, are really pulling it together. And, um, at and, the right and time. They're, at the right time, they're being dominant. They're gelling at the right time. Uh, earlier this year, third downs was a big issue with this defense. Giving yeah. up big plays in the secondary was an issue. Now that they seem to tighten things up mm -hmm, a little bit mm -hmm. in the back end, getting a pass rush. Uh, made a couple of moves in the off season, in the middle of the season, uh, with some some key players, and, yeah. and now we're starting to see them gel at the right time, playing dominant defensive yeah. football and situational football as well. So it's been good. Titans run for I think 229 total yeah. rushing yards as a team. Colts 56. There mm. you go. That's defense for you, Shit. guys. No, no. Uh, 15 minutes can save you 15 percent or more on your car insurance. With that, we'll go to break with our guy, Co Fast 15. Stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. <laughs> Downfield, and the ball is intercepted. Borders with a great catch. Henry on the left side. No, Tannehill oh, cap. Yeah, finger oh. roll. Touchdown, Titans. Onside coming. The Titans catch it. AJ Brown. <laughs> Touchdown, Titans. <laughs> he needs two yards to keep this game moving on. You see what you're made of when you go through something tough. Steady rainfall. And yeah. It's been a tough year, but Tennesseans are built for this. Grit passed down through generations. We look for it. We like it that way. Football is back, baby. Tough. Tennessee tough. Tennessee Tough indeed. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Eddie back with you halftime here on the show. Uh, recently, we played one of our favorite games that we play in stadium with a fan at home. And here it is. Take a look. Hanging out on the line right now with none other than Lady Hype. Lady Hype, how you doing? Yes. Hey, I'm fine. How you doing? Oh, I am great now that I'm talking with you. Listen. <laughs> I like your whole get up here. I'm going to try the blue lips maybe sometime yeah. in a game. This you will look great. This looks good. <laughs> All right, you ready to play this game? Yes. Everybody loves to play this in stadium. Of course, we're bringing it to you at home. 
Here's how it goes. I'm going to show you an item. Then you have 20 seconds to guess the price of that item that I will tell you if you need to go higher or lower. Right now, though, Duke is going to tell you all about it. Duke, what is she bidding on? Bring plenty of essentials into nature with the Academy Sports and Outdoors Folding Sports Wagon with removable bed. This wagon is made with a powder-coated steel frame to withstand continued use and features heavy-duty rubber wheels for smooth movement. Includes a removable polyester bed liner. All right, Lady Hype, you got to beat the clock. Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm excited. 20 seconds, here we go. Hit it. 39, 49, 59, Lower. 69, 49, 59, 50. Lower. 48, 49, 50. Lower. 47, 46, 45, 44, 43. Keep going. There you go, 42. you got it. Congratulations, you just won a $100 gift card to Academy Sports and Outdoors. You can get you some more gear and continue that hype thing you got going on. Yes. <laughs> can I say it? I really yes, can I? Please, I want to hear you say Tighten it. Tighten up, y'all. Woo! <laughs> All right, and there she is now, Lady Hype. Hey! Hey, congrats. A little different look today. Yes. It's good to see who you got with you. My husband, hype man. What's hype up, man. hype man? Hype man. I was gonna say, I hope no. you know someone's there with you. That now, that's a good mask, but I don't think it's uh -huh. COVID compliant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did we send you the the gift card already? Do you have it? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, I, I'm gonna get somebody on. Yep. Okay, we're gonna get somebody fired if it doesn't get to you soon. I'm just just clearing that with my producer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, you gonna watch the game this weekend? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Give us, a, give, give us a score call real quick. 40 to 7. 40 okay, to we'll 7. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. We are taking. I'll hold you to it. And make sure you keep that blue lipstick on, too. We like that. That's a good look. That's that's the good that's the good luck charm right there. All right, we'll uh, we'll all have some blue lipstick in a little bit. Hey, on the other side, we're gonna talk about this game against the Browns coming to town. Stick around, Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. that going to keep your mask on welcome back to the titans blitz presented by farm bureau health plans lance and eddie back with you it is the two minute warning here on the show so we're going to talk about this game coming up the cleveland brown they're eight and three eight and three we're eight and three yes sir they're eight and three is ugly though they struggled against jacksonville last week yeah but i know we lost the Bengals. Yeah, whatever yeah yeah <laughs> it, it, uh, it doesn't matter playoff game yet again yeah um because it's that season out. that point of the season. and listen they're running the football extremely well the number one rushing team in the league number we're number one. two mm -hmm. so something has to give which defense is going to show up and yeah and stop who's whoever's running the game i think that's going to be the key is whoever establishes the run Oh, we can control this game early. That's the first key. That's the first, That's key. the first key is you got to stop that run game because Nick Chubb is uh, is he's a he's kind of a mini Derrick Henry in a way. He likes to stiff arm too, and he keeps his legs churning. Listen, he, and when he takes a breather, it's Kareem Hunt. So yeah, yeah. It's like this this duo reminds me of Mac and Biner back in the day. Oh, okay. when they had the dog, the old dog pound days. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, the, that that's that duo, and they're really relying on both backs to lay the hammer down and take pressure off of Baker Mayfield. Their offensive line is playing nasty football mm -hmm. in the trenches. They're unforgiving. They they are relentless, and these guys don't give up on a run. And there's a duo punch right there, and uh, it's going to be old school football. You know, bad weather might be, doesn't matter, rain, see the snow, the yeah. mail will be delivered by one of these teams. So hopefully we can slow that run game down. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Now, I, I feel more comfortable playing them now, given where our defense is and having progressed yes. as, as, you know, if we'd played them, say, third game of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, second key to victory here, bait Mayfield. In other mm. words, disguise those defensive looks, those packages that we have out there, because this guy will hold on to the ball and force some throws, and he can get frustrated yep. easily. Listen, he, Baker had a fantastic rookie season, a sophomore slump, and still on the fence if he can actually, you know, take over a game. But he's making some nice throws as of lately. He's protecting the football. They're protecting him up front. Great protection. Now what we're going to have to do is put them, win on first, second down. Yeah. Limit the runs, put the, the ball in his hands, and make him throw from the pocket accurate balls and get to him and get to him early. So if we can bait him, like you talked about, into making mistakes, 
that will lead to a victory for us as well. And I think we can get the job done for him. Uh, third key to victory here, get the ball out quick. Miles Garrett, mm. active. He is active and he is ready and he is a problem. Yeah. So uh, if, if by chance our run game isn't where it needs to be, mm -hmm. we've got to have that short passing game because – they are coming with their ears pinned back. This is when Jonu Smith comes into play. Okay. You know, the, the tight end game. Humphreys. Humphreys is coming back, back another yeah. possession type receiver. So that short, quick game is going to be paramount. And they may build that in um, to their offense this week. But I think Mike Vrabel likes to establish the run, rely on that play action, and that can also slow miles down. But what you don't want is to get in third and long situations mm -hmm. where that big fella can eat. Yeah. That's what he wants. He wants to hunt. Yes. And he can hunt. He's a, he's a dog in the trenches. So it's going to be a battle of wills in the offensive line against uh, Miles Garrett this week. It's an, it's an interesting test coming off the last two games that we have. The overtime win mm -hmm. uh, against the Ravens and then the Colts game. We took care of business. This is a sort of a mini playoff in and of itself. Can yeah. you win big games back to back to back? Well, you think about it. Game. Yeah. Baltimore took care of business against Baltimore. Yeah. That was to, to get back into contention. Yeah. Divisional game last week. Right. Okay. Now this is net another one. Eight and three teams yeah. going up against each other to get another a foothold on their position in the, not only the division but also in the wild card playoff races. We don't know how it's going to end. So it's it's playoff time. Taking care Taking of business. business. <laughs> All right. I want to talk more about Cleveland, which you know uh, a thing or two about. Playing a little bit. Cleveland. We'll talk about uh, on the other side. Stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. You had a good game. You had a good game. It even comes across virtually. Eddie, 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 they are saying. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It is overtime here on the show. Lance and Eddie back with you. A reminder, this Sunday, Code Blue oh. here at Nissan Stadium. Now, I realize that we don't want to have a packed house, uh, but you can post pictures on social and get ready. That's all I'm saying. It's this nice. Code Blue. Code Blue, code blue baby. Hold that one, Look my friend. this. And I am going to put this on for Code Blue this weekend. So Bam. make sure you get your stuff. It's going to be nice, man. It's going to be nice. Yes. It's going to be very nice. Code Blue against the Browns. I'll take Blue over Brown any day. Yeah, any day. Uh, hey, also, too, remember the raffle. Check this out. Uh, what are we up to now? Jackpot's up to 18390 uh, Make sure you log on to TennesseeTitans.com slash raffle. Uh, proceeds benefit the Titans Foundation. This is brought to you by Titans and Bet MGM. Uh, you can win up to $100,000, so get as many raffle ticks as you want, and I hope you win. Uh, all right, so we got this game coming up. We've been talking about it. The Browns coming to town. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's funny. Derek had 178 yards and three TDs, and mm -hmm. it was December 16th, 2000. Someone I know had, a, <laughs> had 176 yards and three TDs on 34 carries. Oh, and it was in the snow, Eddie. Yeah. Wasn't so it cold? Where, where I needed this hat, oh. man. It was a uh, Look at you. cold this, day. What? Wind chill was like 20 to negative 10. And I, I'm like a fool. I'm without, without sleeves. I always <laughs> believe that no matter the season, whether it was hot, cold, winter, whatever, it didn't matter. I'm going to be the same way. We're going to play the same way every single time. At but some point in this game, though, were you thinking, man, I wish I had some sleep? That was a lot of fun. Uh, yes, when I went to the <laughs> sideline. If you see me come off the sideline after one of those touchdowns, <laughs> I ran straight past Jeff Fisher. Give me my jacket because it was, it was freezing. So I, I needed one of these hats. It's cold blue here every time I stepped off the field. Look, we only got about a minute left, but I'm really curious. When you're, when you're playing a game like that, mm -hmm. Eddie, and, you know, I mean, you're one of the best to ever do it. When you're in a zone, mm -hmm. when do you know you're in that zone? You don't know. You just, you just feel it. And you don't recognize it. You don't say, hey, I'm in a zone. Okay. You just, you're locked in and focused on one specific thing, and that's to dominate. That's mm -hmm. to get a first down. That's to impose your will every single time. The moment that you say, oh, God, what's happening? Mm -hmm. That's when you snap out of it. You just oh. trust the moment. You breathe in the moment. You, you, you just go with the ebbs and flow of that moment. Good, bad, or indifferent, you just look and respond. And that's, and that's it. You just feel and respond, feel and respond. So you really only it. recognize you were in the zone in hindsight. In hindsight, wow. yeah. I've been, in that, I've, I've been there a couple times. Yeah. Like tonight, I'm just reading and responding. It. He's reading feeling and responding. it. <laughs>
It's fun to watch. Yeah. It obviously won't be snowing here, but uh, maybe we can get another one of those performances yeah. from uh, Derrick Henry against the Browns. I'm excited about it again. It is yes. code blue. Code blue all day, baby. Make sure you post it on your socials. As always, tighten up. we got a victory coming to us. I can feel it. I got it too, yeah. Mask up. Tighten up. See you next week. Good on you. Nice mask action.